Hello West Michigan, welcome to Fox 17 Unfiltered, I'm Max Goldwasser. If you have ever been to a West Michigan Whitecaps game here at LMCU Ballpark, you know his voice very well. For 26 years, Michael Newell has been the team's public address announcer. And tonight, you get to meet the man behind the mic. When you watch a news story about baseball, it usually starts with a few of these. Sounds as nostalgic as the sport itself. But for this story, at this venue, we need to add another to the list. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to LMCU Ballpark and what caps baseball. He's an essential part of the game day experience. Now betting the left fielder, number 12, Austin Murr. But we want to put a face to that familiar voice. It's fun and I, whether there's 500 people here or 8,000 people here, it's fun. Michael Newell is the public address announcer for the West Michigan Whitecaps. And it's almost been that way since there were Whitecaps. Newell got a start during their fourth season in 1997. Letting off for your Whitecaps, the shortstop, number seven, Danny Soretti. When the team is at LMCU Ballpark, Newell is up here, overlooking the field from his box on press row. If you would have told me when I was a kid that I could work 26 years and hopefully a lot more uh, not think baseball games I'd say sign me up absolutely Newell has always felt comfortable behind the mic he comes from a radio background did that for a while and he loved it but he made a big career change by becoming a school counselor in the mid-90s and then a couple of years in I saw this job advertised in the Grand Rapids press back when people read newspapers Newell auditioned for the role so did 14 other people a group of competitors that included Bob Wells. Now that's a name and a face you likely recognize. There was only one opening, but the team pulled some strings and found a spot for both of them. Bob would become the director of fun, and Newell, well, he got the PA gig. What if the roles were reversed, do you think? Uh, will it be a problem because he could do my job. Uh, but I, I can't sing very well. He was gone yesterday, so I had to sing the seventh inning stretch. And uh, shortly after that, the crowd emptied quickly. Quick. <laughs> well, that's just a weird coincidence. <laughs> yeah. And I don't dance, at least not well. Uh, <laughs> okay. So he's got a, a few more of those moves. <laughs> <laughs> they made the right decision. They did make the right decision. They... In this role, Newell is in charge of introducing players. Batting third, the catcher number three, Eliezer Alfonso. Announcing promotions. Let's go ahead with Farm Bureau 5. Hey, Whitecap fans, don't forget to cheer on your Whitecaps to score five or more runs in the fifth inning in the Farm Bureau 5. And sharing in stadium deals along with other info. Stop by the Capsize Shop, take a look at the new items of the week. Newell guessed he's been in the box for about 1,800 games by now. Hundreds of thousands have heard his voice echo through LMCU Ballpark, but no crowd is tougher than his four kids at home. Your voice is power. It does the same power you have at the stadium carry to the power you have at home? With that you? is a great question, and the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I, and Bob and I always say that. At home, it's still take out the trash. Okay. Even after all this time, Newell has never lost his love for the job. It feels special, and it truly is an honor. I, I, I love it. I love this community, and I want to do the best I can every time I open up the mic, and I every... Every game I get excited about it. Every time I hear that opening music, I'm like, I get to do this again. But amid all the perks, there is one minor league problem. I still have to show my ID every time I walk in the gates because most of those people don't know me. Into the gates here yes. at LMC Ballpark? You'd think by now. Well, different people. Okay. They haven't all been here 26 years. <laughs> True. Maybe they'll have it figured out in the next 26, huh? Which might sound like a long span for the 62-year-old, but Newell he has no plans on leaving any time soon. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, those foul balls often go back into the seating areas. My wife said he would do it 365 days a year if he could. <laughs> if I could speak Spanish, I'd probably fly and do the Dominican League in the wintertime. For now, Newell's voice will remain a spring and summertime staple here in West Michigan. And he wants to keep it that way for as long as possible. Don't come up here and try to take my job. No. <laughs> Yeah, he's not going anywhere, clearly. And the next time you can hear Newell call a game here at LMCU Ballpark is on Tuesday. The team starts a six-game series here at home against the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. First pitch is 635. You can check out the schedule and get tickets at whitecapsbaseball.com.